We welcome you to Freckers with the Van Wert football team as we are in Van Wert getting you ready for opening week, the 26th of August. A kickoff of games, highlights, including the Van Wert Cougars taking on their rival. It seems like it's a rivalry game. You've played with Brian for years, it yeah, seems like in that opening game. 74, <laughs> 75 years now, so. Yeah, I mean, even for the distance we are away, it's a rivalry. Yeah, well, last year, the story for Van Wert football was the seniors. 20-some seniors, so many guys that have gotten all that experience, which means this year the story is a lot of an experience. And so this has gone back to maybe even your first year where you had young guys and you had to bring them along. Yeah, it's, it's reteaching some things. And, and uh, you know, our biggest worry going in the off season was how would they approach losing all those seniors? Was it, uh, uh, you know, how are we going to do this? Is it back to the old Van Wert ways? Or is it, hey, they, they, they got us a step further and we need to go another step. And that's the approach they've taken. I've been so pleased with that, that it was like, hey, they got us to 500. We were wanting more, but they got us back to 500. And now it's our turn to get it back over the top of that. And so uh, they've been a great joy to be around. And it's just, yeah, we just gotta gotta go back to teaching stuff. They didn't get as much varsity experience the last couple of years. And, and that's why we're out there. We got to get them that experience and get them going. As you look at this group of guys, what's what's the strength of Van Wert football right now? Obviously, still a week and a half before that first game, but what would you say your strength is? Well, from our, our Tuesday scrimmage against Parkway to our uh, Friday scrimmage against Versailles, our defense got a lot better. Uh, Versailles lined up in a wing tee, wanted to run the ball at us, and we did a really good job of stopping it, which I was very pleased with because we didn't do that against Parkway as well. Uh, so, so I thought that was really good. We have some good skill guys, um, but we've got to get things shored up right now up front. Um, we have five totally new starters up front, uh, lost seven, uh, our top seven O-linemen last year. So uh, as those guys come together and gel, our team will gel. And because I like our skill guys and, and uh, we get things short up up front, I think we'll be very competitive. Last year, some nice balance running and passing. You were fourth in the WBL in both rushing and passing the football. Same type of balance this year, would you say? Yeah, I think we always want to have that balance. and. And I'm not a guy that's going to say 60-40 uh, run pass, 50-50. Uh, <laughs> if, if, if we're running the ball, we're going to run the ball. If, if they're stopping us, we're going to put it over the top and try to make some plays. So uh, hopefully we do a good job taking what the defense gives us. And, and ideally we'd be balanced. But uh, if we need to, I, I think we can do both. Going into the game against Crestview, it's just a scrimmage, but it feels like more than that. It's two communities coming together. It's the county kind of rivalry, even though you don't play during the regular season. What's that game mean to you? Well, it's it's very neat. You know, I didn't grow up in Van Wert and, and kind of feel that rivalry with, with Crestview, but uh, you can sense it. Our, I know our guys, and, and probably because they hang out with probably some of those guys and, and uh, some of the students over there, and they know each other very well. And so it's a sense of pride, and, and we try to tell them we're not going to be 0-1 or 1-0 after this. But on the other side, we want to make sure that we come out on top of it still, too. So uh, it's really neat that we were able to get that scrimmage together. Uh, we were going down to Greenville, and, and that was a good scrimmage for us. But an hour away, and this being right here, a, a good crowd usually, and it just makes it a lot of fun. And of course, there was the Elida tragic accident last week, and immediately uh, the Van Wert chaplain, Steve Hellman, texted me and said, how can we help? I just feel like we need to help. And I told him about the rally that happened Sunday, uh, time for students and, the, and parents in the Elida community to come together. And he said, we're going to bring some Van Wert football players and other athletes because we want to support Elida. And it was just a special show of support, WBL Strong. We see the hashtag a lot on Twitter, but you guys really lived it out. It was so, it was so neat seeing the aftermath of that and, and uh, Elida superintendent Joel Mendrick uh, emailed us over and, and some of the pictures we saw of it and just how much they supported it and, and that's what I want our guys and our community to know that uh, that you know we were there in a time of need and, and feel great and, and it was about as little of a thing as you could do for them mm -hmm. but it probably meant so much and you just feel you feel for them and I, I couldn't imagine, hopefully never have to imagine, right. um, but, but we'll be there for, for anybody that, that that happens to. No question about it. A week and a half till that opening game uh, as you take on Brian. What couple things are you look, looking forward to out of your team that you need to get shored up or you want to see certain position battles settled by week one? What are your eyes on? Well, that, that same thing up front, our offensive yeah. line. Uh, 
we're shuffling guys back and forth. Uh, our offensive coordinator today said it looks like a game of cards up there. He's just shuffling <laughs> guys everywhere. I said, we got to find the five best and wherever they are. Uh, so, so we've got uh, three, maybe four that we feel good about. And then we got a good battle going on uh, at a guard position and, and guys are fighting for that. And so uh, that's our biggest thing right now. And, and obviously there's other spots and uh, some things defensively we want to find out. But uh, defensive line wise, we've got a nice rotation going there. Of, of about four guys and they're doing a nice job so uh, especially at the defensive end position and uh, so we feel really good about most of our spots and we're starting to get some depth as guys are learning but um, it still comes down to the offensive line and you know I say that this year especially but uh, we could we could have said that from the beginning of football if those guys play well we're going to be okay. Do you have a lot of you guys going both ways both sides of the ball? We try to live in as much as we can on the offensive line wise. Um, some of our skill guys are going to go both ways and uh, you know it, it's gotten to the point now where it's you know guys that need to be on the field are going to be on the field and and uh, as the year progresses hopefully we can get more guys on the field and get guys going one way and, and we're going to run into some teams uh, that do that so line that goes two platoon uh, Walpock two platoon St. Mary's I mean there's quite a few teams in our league that do that so the more guys we can get going one way the better so many seniors from the WBL graduated last year if you look at the first team the second team it was dominated by seniors we have a lot of question marks for the WBL this year I would say yeah and that's that's good because we, we graduated uh, <laughs> a lot of probably just as many yeah as anybody else so uh, that's good but yeah it'll be a, a whole new crop of guys and, and you look around the league uh, at, at who was the best player on a lot of those teams and you can point to a senior and a senior that was probably all league uh, so uh, it I imagine it's going to be just as competitive as ever. Last year it was, you know, I think we were just as good as anybody else. And uh, I think about every other team could say that too. And you look at the bottom of the league, I heard Sean Nees improving with, with their new coach. And uh, Defiance will be better with uh, Kevin Klein there from Bryant. So, uh, you know, the two bottom teams in the league last year are on the rise. And, and I don't think Walpock's going to go anywhere. So I, I think everybody's going to be right there. Should be a fun year in the Wild Wild Western Buckeye League, and we'll talk with some of the Vanmore Cougars when we return here on the warm-up from Frickers on WSN. Back at Frickers with some of the Van Wert seniors. To my right is Brock Berry, offensive lineman, defensive lineman. In the middle, Nick Gutierrez, wide receiver and defensive back, and Brady Place down on the end, halfback and linebacker. Brock, let's start with you as one of those linemen. How's the competition going for you guys? Uh, it's getting a lot better than it used to be. Uh, we've put in some work over the summer, and it's taken a lot to get from where we were when we started to where we are now. Just a lot of hours in the classroom, reviewing film, going over our assignments, and then out on the field doing drills and making sure everybody's sound on their assignments. You guys had some good guys to learn from last year. What are some of the things that you picked up as that offensive line that was so veteran for Van Wert last year? Uh, some of the more important things that we figured out from those guys were not so much technique, but effort and discipline, and knowing that you have to stand up for your teammates and play for your community. And when the final seconds are taken and you're down by one, you have to make every play count and every move that you make has to be perfect. Good things to learn for the Cougars. Nick Gutierrez, how's the defense looking? You're one of those defensive backs against uh, these Western Buckeye leagues. Yeah. Some of the teams throw, not everybody, but some of them throw it. Um, it's looking pretty good. Uh, we're, at, we're working hard. I mean, our defense, we spend a lot of time in the classroom, make sure we uh, know our assignments. We switched it up recently in the start of the year make it a little bit better, but I think we'll be pretty good. First two scrimmages against a couple of MAC teams, Parkway and Versailles, what do you think your team did well those first two? Oh, uh, well, we, we played hard, obviously, which that that's the uh, start of everything. Um, I mean, that's all you can ask, but offensively, we uh, executed well. Our line, our line works hard. We're counting on them this year. No question about it. Like Coach Rucker said, that's where it starts. The big guys up front. Brady Place down at the end. Halfback, linebacker. Are you excited to get some carries this year and help uh, Van Wert win some more football games? Yeah, um, I want to just play as hard as I can and try to make as many tackles as possible and hopefully get the ball on offense. <laughs> First day, hopefully get the ball. First day of school for you guys. How long will it take you to get into that rhythm of school, football? This is what our weeks look like in the fall. Um... I don't think it'll take very long because we've done it for, what, six years? Sure. So it's just basically habit right now. 
Brock, what's it mean to be a senior? This is, this is it for you. Uh, it's exciting to be one of the leaders finally. You know, you're on the bottom of the food chain for three years, and then it's <laughs> your time to be on top. And there's a lot of responsibilities and challenges that come with it. You got to be a good example for the underclassmen and show them what a good work ethic is and how to get it done in the weight room, on the field, in the classroom, and just be a leader. Cougars with one more scrimmage against rival Crestview before the opener with Brian at Eggers Stadium. When we return, we'll talk with three more seniors right here on the warm up at Frickers on WSN. One more time with the Van Wert football team here at Frickers as we're warming you up for opening week. We'll have five broadcast games for you on the weekend of August 26th and the 27th. And of course, the first sports report of the regular season coming up 10 to 11 that first Friday night. To my right is Evan Williams, running back, linebacker, Matt Reichert's in the middle, half back or H back, defensive end, and Cole Buckner, offensive lineman, defensive lineman down at the end. Cole, we will start with you. This is the facial hair club, apparently. Uh, Matt and I didn't get the memo, but how long have you been growing the beard? Um, I'd probably say for a couple of weeks now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. So it's not like seven years. <laughs> no. And it's now just coming. <laughs> no. And you're going to keep it, right? Yeah. You feel like a lineman, don't you, with the big beard? <laughs> yeah. How are things going? We talked about the offensive, def defensive line, a good rotation so far. Offensive line, just trying to find some pieces. How's that been for you personally? Um, personally, it's not too bad. I just need, personally, I need to work a lot harder. I think, um... I think I can find a find a spot in the line and do my part and uh, that's good. Yeah, that's, that's all I'm looking for. Right? <laughs> Coach likes to hear it. Uh, two a days. What good comes out of two a days? Do you have a favorite drill? Do you have something? You know, you like to have popsicles after practice. <laughs> what what good comes out of two a days for you? Um, yeah, I'd probably say the popsicles. Okay, yeah. okay. that's a good idea. <laughs> Matt Riker, how about you? Two a days. What would have been some positives you've seen out of this uh, senior year for you? Uh, well, I mean, two a days. You can, once you're done, you're done. That's, <laughs> that's something that's good. Uh, but uh, defensively, I think two a days went really well. I think uh, we're looking pretty solid, especially defensive line. Uh, a lot of rotation, like you said. Uh, a lot of guys, a lot of competition. That's uh, pretty exciting to be a part of. What did last year's success, five and five, big numbers, big senior class, what has that done for the Van Wert football program now as you step in to be a senior? Uh, I think it kind of, I don't know, it kind of puts a chip on our shoulder. It says uh, all these guys graduated and we're, now we have to step up. We have to fill those shoes. Uh, I think we have a great team here to be able to do that, and uh, it should be a fun year. Evan Williams, another guy with nice beard there. Are you going to keep that for this season? Yeah, I am. Running back, uh, coach said, if we're running the ball well, we're going to keep running the ball well. I'm sure you like to hear that. Yeah, I like to. How are things going for, for the offense? <laughs> Go. You can talk for more than five seconds. That's okay. How are uh, things going, you think, for the offense? Uh, the offense is going all right right now. We need the line to step up a little bit more this year since we lost all the big senior guys. All right, well, Van Wert getting ready for one more scrimmage as they will take on Crestview and then the opener with Brian at Eggers Stadium. We thank you for joining us. You can always check out our full broadcast schedule at WOSN.TV. And thanks to the crew, Veronica Wendy, Joe Vernick, and Ben Reif, and our friends here at Frickers for feeding us well. We'll see you next time here on WOSN.